Hello students, welcome to our another class of software project management and uh, software engineering. In our previous class, we have already discussed how to make a part chart or program evaluation and review technique. And in our today's class, we are going to discuss <coughs> about critical path problem or CPM method. Now, before we go into any more detail, we must discuss what is CPM or critical path method. Now see, using the CPM or the critical path method, uh, we can determine the total calendar time required for the project. As we know that every project is modeled in different tasks or activities and each activity has different times to be completed and we can make a part chart from there. Now using the critical path method we can determine total time taken by the project and we can also take care of the some parameters like uh, earliest start or earliest finish or latest start or latest finish using the CPM and at the end we can calculate slack time as well as critical path from this diagram. Now let's take one example. Uh, in any critical path uh, we can have these uh, parameters ET means earliest node time for any given activity duration and precedence relationship and LT means latest node time assuming no delay and few other terms that we must know that is ES as I said earlier earliest start time LS means latest start time EF means earliest finishing time and LF means latest finishing time slack time or ST means maximum activity delay time now take an example now this is our given <coughs> activity uh, table where we have three, uh, three uh, five tasks to be completed now make one node there called node number one and as we can see that we can either start by A or we can uh, start by B also. So we made two paths from this node number 1. One is A and A needs 3 week or month whatever the time unit is. Let's take 3 days. So it is taking 3 days to be completed and B is taking 4 days to be completed. Now B is precedence of C. So at the end of B we have this path for C, C is taking 7 days where C is precedence of E and it is taking 2 days so this is our path and uh, from B, C and E and uh, A is precedence of D so from A we uh, going to D and D is taking 5 days to be completed so it is 5 and uh, this 5 is our final node. Okay, so this thing we have already learned in our last class. Now, how to solve the critical path method. Now, we will first put a zero there because it is the starting node. So, no delay or nothing uh, uh, will hamper to start it. So, that is why we will put uh, zero over there. And then, as from 1 to 2, it is taking 3 days so we will put 3 there and from 1 to 3 it is taking 4 days so we will put 4 there. ok next now from 4 we will add 7 there so we are getting 11 so it will be 11 now If we consider then just a minute. Yes. We have two paths there. 
1 is 11 for this uh, node number uh, 5 we have two parts one is 4 to 5 another one is 2 to 5 now if we add 3 with 5 then we will get 8 and if we add 2 with 11 so we will get 13 so we have two options there either we can consider 13 or we can consider 8 now we will consider only the maximum number so this node will contain 13 here okay clear now whatever the value of this last node we will simply put that value in here so it is 13 and this is 13 also now in the next slide we are simply subtracting this 2 from this 13 so what we are getting 11 13 minus 2 11 here 13 minus 5 that is 8 here 11 minus 7 4 now for this node we are again getting two path either from 2 to 1 or from 3 to 1 if we go from 2 to 1 then we will get 8 minus 3 that is 5 now if we go from 4 uh, 3 to uh, 1 then 4 minus 4 that is 0 now this time we will consider only the minimum value so minimum of uh, 5 and 0 uh, is 0 so it will be 0 ok clear now we will use critical path method but before that we will create one table now how to make the table we will simply put all these values like for uh, see we write task A it is taking duration 3 and earliest start and earliest finish is 0 3 and latest start and latest finish is 5 and 8 0 uh, 2 3 and it is taking 5 and 8 okay. 